Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala went for verification of his academic credentials. And after that, he submitted those documents to the IBC. Later, IBC cleared Cleophas Malala to run for Kakamega governor seat. And after IBC had received his documents stamped, Malala finally decided to share those documents on his social media. The reason behind this was to prove a point that there have been bloggers who have been used to taint his name as far as his education was concerned. D in high school Nahakuenda University. So he was trying to shut them down. But what Malala did not understand is that once you share your document on social media, already you are opening another chance of questioning. <laughs> so Malala fall into a trap knowingly or unknowingly. Because Robert Alai went further to question Cleophas Malala. The reason for Robert Alai to question Cleophas Malala documents is not actually necessarily that Malala did not go to school or his documents are not credentials. The reason behind this was just to anger Malala and see how far he can react. <laughs> and yes, Malala has failed in that. This is what Malala shared. First, the Commission for University Education, CUE, has duly certified and recognized my academic credentials and henceforth advised the IBC to clear me to contest in August 2022 general election, Kakamega County. Those who cherish in propaganda, feel ashamed, attached are the true copy of my academic. So his documents are there. The first one, a letter he was writing to IBC. Second one, Commission for University Education, Recognition and the Equation of Qualification. Then he also have the Kenya National Examination Council in the KCSE, where he got a B plane. <laughs> now, after that, Robert Alai decided to question Senator Cleophas Malala academic credentials, and this is what he, he posted. Cleophas Malala has published this as his authentic USIU degree certificate. This document was prudently obtained from USIU record where I am a luminous. Malala started going to school 12 years ago. He still hasn't finished four courses, including the final project. Unless Malala shared proof that he was in class and uh, finished the four course, including a web, app, a web app project on youth empowerment for Kakamega Council County, I will sue Cleo Malala for prudently obtaining a university degree. University even gave him two classmates to help him finish the course and uh, he never did. So I have enough proof to show that this degree certificate was illegally obtained. Now, if you look at how Robert Alain is questioning Cleophas Malala, of course, he's making a joke out of it. He's not serious on that. But again, because Robert Alain wanted to anger Senator Cleophas Malala, he continuously questioned all of his documents, including his high school certificate. And here is the trap where it comes. Senator Cleophas Malala decided to respond to Robert Alai, but in his response, he made a huge blunder. This is what Malala finally posted. He shared the photo of Robert Alai, and this is what he said. Some, someone advised a lie that a university degree certificate somehow resembles a circumcision certificate. Hmm? Hmm. If you don't know the letter, you can't tell the former. That is where Malala has failed. <laughs> now, Malala is looking to become the Kakamega governor. One of the qualifications for governor 
you need at least a degree. It's your ubunge. So Malala had to present his document. He did well, and yes, sharing, there was no problem. But now the response to Robert Alai is where Malala has failed totally. In fact, Robert Alai also went further to share out what Malala had commented about him. This is what Robert Alai again said. Graduates of USIU Africa are smarter than this. Prove my point, you didn't graduate from USIU. Meaning, Malala was supposed to be smart and brave enough in his response to Robert Alai. <laughs> now, we all know that Robert Alai is more older than Santa Cleofas Malala, but when it comes to political leadership, Santa Cleofas Malala has of more experience than Robert Alai because Malala has served as an, uh, an MCA and he is now serving as a senator. Robert Alai is going for the first time for the MCA seat where Malala was some time back. But I want to use this opportunity to explain to you how I feel that Malala's response to Robert Alai can injure, can injure his candidature in Kakamega count. It might injure. That's what we want to try and analyze here. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop a comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Now back to our discussion. First of all, before I explain how the politics in Kakamega look like, I want to take you back to 2013 memories. When Bonnie Kalwale was running for Kakamega senator seat on UDF ticket in a party where Mudabad was running on the same year for the president. Kakamega politics, you have to balance and understand. We have the visibilities and the presence of Luo communities. If not Luo, then they are half caste. Someone told me there's no half caste. Okay. If not Luo, then they have their cousins, uncles, and across the board. So Bonnie Galwale, in his own wisdom, when he was campaigning, he was appealing to both Luya and Luo. He was clear. He told Musalem Dabadin, Wakati wewe ulikosana na Raila Odinga, sisi ya tutaki kujua, iyo ilikuwa maneno yenyu. Lakini siku utakuwa rais, ukumbuke wajaluo, there are sina officers here, fanya na wakenya wate ka kazi. Listen to him so that you can understand the wisdom one might need to campaign in Kakamega. Wajaluo, wanafanya hapa biashara yao, wajaluo are senior officers in this region, mwishmiwa mdabati, Hiyo bila mlikuwa sana na Raila atitaki kujua Wakati utashinda Raila Angalia wajaluo Saidia wa Kenya wote We want Kenya to have a country Mimi tumesuwake mtabandi mwana wa Hana Now I'm still comparing issues here When William Ruto gets to the podium Then he goes on with this abuses to Raila Mono Dinga Wakata na samanga Raila ni mutu wa kitandawili. That one, he is directly attacking Raila Molo Dinga. But at the times when he called Raila Molo Dinga mutu wa kungoa reli, that one definitely, you are profiling a community. You have gone for the community. And therefore, Cleophas Malala, by referring to his certificate in Robert Alai's questions, as circumcision certificate, we all know not all Luos have embraced some circumcision because, of course, we have different cultures. Na hata watu wengi hapa huwa wananitusi hivyo ni sawa mimi siyo gopi hata ukitaka kuniambia nini wewe niambie tu. Haina shida. Because we have to appreciate our cultures. That's why I don't need to tell you uh, my, my community or my tribe because it does not matter. What matter is what I give out. 
So when Robert and I, sorry, when Cleophas Malala were to talk about circumcision, that means he has moved from attacking Robert Alai and now he's attacking the community. The Luo community. <laughs> so you can look into this. And this is exactly what Robert Alai was looking for. So Manala has played into the trap of Robert Alai. Because everyone who is going to read that comment that Manala has put there, he will not even see the criticism Robert Alai was doing to him. What they will see is the issue of circumcision. So what is Malala telling the public here? Someone who is looking to be the governor. Are you want to be the governor of a specific group of Kakamega County or the governor for all people in Kakamega County? There is no votes in Kakamega. You can't ignore. And always that has been one of the suing votes in that area. So anyone who wants to win senator and the governor seat, even a woman rep, you have to put that into consideration on how you approach them. Look at Bonne Kalwale. There was a lot of wisdom in Bonne Kalwale, and even up to now when he gets to campaign, he know how to approach the lower communities in Kakamega County. So that it will not be seen as if he is attacking a community. So that even if when he go for Raila Odinga, he go to attack Raila, in a way it will not demean even the community. So he will be trying to use facts. But Malala has been repeatedly made a lot of blunders. Even the way he attacked Raila Mono Odinga. Those people who believe in Raila Odinga's leadership, Leave alone the Luos, just the people within Kakamega who believe in Raila Odinga leadership. And they might be willing to vote for Malala because he's looking for different seat from what Raila Odinga is looking for. When he utter out those words, you are simply chasing these people away from you. Like today, we have people who are going to feel, okay, Malala is insulting my uncle, Malala is insulting my aunts, Malala is insulting my cousins. Wait, wait. Baba yako mluya. Mama yako ametoka luonyanzi. So you have your relative in the other side. Do you think this person is going to vote for Malala? We have those luos who migrated to Kakamega County. They are doing their businesses. There are senior officers there. They are not going back to Kakame to Kisumu or elsewhere. They have settled in Kakamega. And this is a huge community within Kakamega. How do you deal with their issue? The issue is not about how Manal, uh, Robert Alai criticizes you. Because even after all, Robert Alai, when it comes to leadership, you are more, he's more senior than Robert Alai. Robert Alai is looking for MCS seat. Manala is looking for the governor seat. Total different. But the approach and the response shows the kind of a leader Manala is. Manala reacted with emotion. So it's Malala telling us that once he becomes the governor of Kakamega, he will be working on emotion. How the emotion has driven him is how he's going to react. Or he's a leader who will be guided by principles. Yes, he decided to execute his case in public court and therefore he was supposed to be ready for anything. As simple as that. So in, my, in one way or another, I still believe that there is a lot of blunders Malala is making. And uh, he's opening much more wars. And you know when you, match, you open too much wars, you cannot win at the end of the day. I don't see the reason why he was responding to Robert Alai. We know Robert Alai is a blogger. He will share those things. But again, Kenyans will know. And even the people Robert Alai is communicating to, Mostly they are not from Kakamega. But how Manala has responded is attracting the reaction from Kakamega because now Manala is from Kakamega. A lot of blunders. Someone needs to advise Senator Cleophas Malala unless he's going to lose easily. These people are going to align themselves with his opponent. 
Fernandez Baraza. So you lose to your opponent because of opening too much woes. <laughs> I don't know what you think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you. See you in our next video.